Hey guys, Atsu here. I know I have absolutely no drip and this king next to me has all the drip in the world, Kamisato Ayato. I was lucky enough to test him out early on the media server. Thank you to Hoyoverse and the staff for dealing with my nonsense. But in this video, I want to share with you what I found regarding his best artifacts, best weapons, best teammates, rotations, playstyle, and any other bonus info that I think would come in handy for you guys. Let's begin. So, for those of you who are short on time, in general, Kamisato Ayato is going to be a sub-DPS character who can put out some pretty decent damage as well as very, very good Hydra application in a wide range using his Elemental Burst. As you can see here, the combination in this Freeze team we are going to be using is with his sister, Kamisato Ayaka, alongside Kazaha and Diona. Diona there for the energy for Ayaka. Now, many of you guys know I'm not a big fan of Ayaka. However, after playing with Ayato, damn, they actually make a really, really nice duo, brother and sister, and I really, really enjoy the gameplay. Having said that, this is definitely a character geared towards more casual players that don't want to press a ton of buttons because Ayato is a very simple character to play, which I will touch on in a moment. So the Ayato that's going to be featured in this video is going to be Constellation Zero and the talent levels are going to be 699. Nice numbers there, but I want to make this very clear early on because I'm sure there's going to be some misconceptions about this. Leveling up your normal attack doesn't actually increase your damage when you use Ayato's elemental skill. I'll leave a clip here for you guys so you can see what it is with Tartalia in the party who increases your talent level by one for your normal attack. And you can literally see here there's no difference whatsoever. So just in case you wanted to save and be a little little bit stingy on your talent materials. Ayato's normal attack is not really an ability that you need to level up. The elemental skill is the most important one first and then the elemental burst after that. So Kamisato Ayato is very much one designed for the simps as he's flexing here as the sun rises but two I think more so for the casual player base as opposed to the very meta player base although I do think he has a place in both worlds and what I mean by that is Ayato can go into a lot of different team compositions so he can go in the freeze teams, the vaporized teams, the national teams, ride the national as well as some more off meta teams which means he's very very flexible and the other reason why I think he's very much geared towards casual players is he's very very easy to play so let me demonstrate here what you have to do I'm going to hold my mouse up here or maybe I might have to turn the camera here but with Ayato you press his elemental skill and that will imbue him for his normal attack damage as you can see here and then once you do that he's not meant to have fallen off there but you just hold down the mouse here and that's it and he will do up to around 16 strikes now depending on your connection as you can see here, I'm a 231 ping. Again, this is the media server. It's not a beta test server, it's a media server. Because of my ping, sometimes I might only get 14, 15. If I'm lucky, I can get 16 strikes in. For most of you guys, you should be expecting around 15 to 16, as long as you time it correctly. And this is one of the few occasions you can be like ping diff. But ultimately, you just have to hold down a button. You press elemental skill, and then you hold down the button. And then you have his elemental burst here, where he's like looking at the camera like some K-pop star. But as you can see, very elegant. Oh, no, no, no. What a great photo. No, we could have had a great photo there. But Ayato is a very, very simple, simple character and really wide radius for Ayato's elemental burst. Again, works very nicely with Ganyu. This is so beautiful. Sorry, I'm getting completely distracted, but I did not expect it to look this nice. And three, I guess for the photographers in Genshin Impact, Ayato's elemental burst mixed with the sunrise is actually very, very nice. Wow, it's like he's putting on a performance for us. But Ayato's team comps, let's begin. Alrighty, so we're going to be boring and start off with a meta team, which is going to be the Freeze team. We've got the Kamisato siblings. Freeze teams are also known as Morgana teams. And what this team involves is a battery character. Battery as in to charge your energy up for your other characters. In this instance, Diona to Ayaka. And we also have an Animo character, which can either be Sucrose, Venti, or Kazaha. It's very situational, or it's just straight up down to personal preference. For me, I like Kazaha the most. And also, Kazaha is most beneficial against very heavy enemies, which is what Spiral Abyss floor 12 is really filled to the brim with. In this instance, the damage dealers on our team are going to be Ayato and Ayaka. Ayaka can be replaced by Ganyu. Ayato can be replaced by other Hydro characters as well, but it's the Kamisato showcase, so that's what we've got. And I did touch on this earlier. This team is meta. It's a bit boring, but at the same time, because it's the first time I've really played with meta teams or something that is a good strategy, 
it was actually enjoyable. I don't really like playing with Ayaka normally, but when I play with Ayato and Ayaka together and you drop the Ayaka burst in the Ayato burst and it's just permanently freezing, oh, it's so satisfying. It's so, so, so satisfying, and I really did enjoy playing with this team. Now, the flip side to this is, of course, you can go with Ganyu, and Ganyu and Ayato together are very, very, very enjoyable because they have the whole big circular range of raining down constant freeze, and what I've decided to do is pair this up with Zhongli and Albedo, and as you can see on your screen right now, this is what I have dubbed the Petri Freeze, or the God Rain, or the Geo Rain team, Whatever you want to call it, I think this is so, so, so satisfying. When you have a bunch of enemies that keep getting frozen, shattered, frozen, shattered, frozen, shattered, crystallized, thrown in there with Albedo's proc, Albedo hitting for over 20,000, maybe even 30,000 damage depending on how much you built him. My Albedo is Constellation Zero, so don't you worry about that. Albedo, I'm telling you guys, with Ayato, they both got the white, gold, blue, black drip and it looks amazing, and I just feel like these two are like a match made in heaven because Ayato's constantly striking, and then you have Albedo, like every two Ayato normal attacks, like boom, 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 boom. Having said that, as you can see, or as you saw from the clip there, there's two variations to this. One is where you start off with Zhongli, you petrify everyone, so technically they're frozen, you put a pillar down, you climb the pillar with Ayato, so when Ayato Elemental bursts, it's actually up in the sky. Then you drop down one layer, and then you Elemental burst with Ganyu. Ayato's burst is longer than Ganyu's, by the way, so it's better to burst with Ayato first. And then Ganyu's burst will be the bottom layer. So you have two circled layers, and it's kind of like a cake, and it's very, very pretty. Having said that, doing that is actually wasting your damage per second because you are climbing a pillar, which is totally unnecessary, but it looks cool. And that's what we like on this channel. We're casual, we're unga bunga, and it looks cool. And I gotta tell you, it's super, super satisfying. It also generates a lot of energy because as you can see in the clip, I'm just running around and appreciating it. I'm not actually using my elemental skills, so I'm not really generating any particles by standard means. Whereas despite doing that, I still got Zhongli's burst back, which is really nice because I can petrify again, and then I can start dishing out some more damage. But when you are in that dungeon or the, how do I describe, the cake or the chamber of permanent freezing rain or petri freeze, then please do attack the enemy. You can appreciate it every now and then, but if you attack the enemy, you're definitely going to clear the enemies out a lot, lot faster. Next up, we have got the Vaporize team. Now, I think this is no-brainer. It's got Bennett in it, it's got Shangling in it, so the question really is, is Ayato really the one doing the work? And the honest answer is, you know you can put Tartaglia in this team and it's going to work absolutely fine. You don't need to have Singcho in this team as well, you can use someone else, but it helps to have Singcho here for battery for Ayato to give him energy recharge. It works nicely, this team is absolutely fine. You've got a little bit of resistance and shielding from Singcho swords. You've got Bennett for the healing, for the damage boost. Shangling and Ayato doing a lot of vaporized damage. You can put Raiden in this team, you can put a Kazaha in this team, or a, you can put... It's, it's basically just a national team with a lot of variation. You can put whoever you want into these kind of teams, and ultimately, it's not really Ayato carrying the team here, it's Bennett and Shangling. Whereas the other teams, you can really feel that Ayato is pulling his weight. And yeah, so... Again, this is a meta team. Meta teams are, I feel like, a little bit boring, but if that's what you want to go to, as I touched on earlier, I think Ayato has a place both in meta teams and also fun casual teams. Unless, well, definitely not meta team because this team doesn't even have a healer in it, is going to be what I've labeled the Giga Chads. Now, the Giga Chads have Ayato, Raiden Shogun, Beido, and Albedo. Now, Beido, not Albedo, Beido, her elemental burst, and if you have Constellation 1, I think she gives you a shield, but her elemental burst does a lot of damage every time you strike your opponent with a normal attack or an attack. And Ayato is the normal attack guy. So, when you have Raiden Shogun's elemental skill and Beidou's elemental burst, you've got Albedo's elevator down, 
I'm getting a lot of big words here, but when you got Albedo's elevator down and it's proccing every single time Ayato is striking with his elemental skill and the raindrops are coming down as well, that's a lot of damage. And especially when enemies clump up together, that's a lot of electro charge, which gives you with elemental resonance affected by Hydro for 40% less time, superconduct overloaded and electro charge have a 100% chance to generate an electro elemental particle. And what particles do you want on this team the most? You want Beidou and Raiden Shogun. Ayato consistently, choo, 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 choo. And then Albedo consistently, choo, 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 choo. And you technically do have like a permanent shield because you get a lot of crystallized shields coming down. Now I know crystallized shields are seen as a little bit copium. However, when you're doing consistent crystallization, your shield is basically resetting over and over and over and over and over again. So I actually really, really did enjoy this team. I just want to play Albedo with Ayato, honestly speaking, and I'm very, very happy that Beidou has another partner in crime. You can put Fischl in this team as well. There's multiple other characters you can put in this team. Again, you can put Bennett in the team. You can put Sing Cho in the team, but realistically speaking, guys, these are the super overpowered characters that go in every single team. I wanted to play with less popular characters, and I gotta say, Ayato does allow for that to happen. Now, there are other teams that I do think that can work nicely with Ayato, and I think Yoimiya is someone now i don't have a very good yoimiya her talent levels are only 666 and her artifact her artifacts are good but yoimiya is also a normal attack damage character ayato is a normal attack damage buffer so i i'm hoping someone down the line is going to find a team where ayato and yoimiya work very very well together the team that i tried which is good against single target enemies so not very good in abyss it's good in single target enemies is ayato Bennett, of course Bennett's in there, Yoimiya and Sing Cho, which gives you vape damage and it also it's just very nice that you give each other all energy and you can consistently circle through their bursts which essentially buff each other. So Yoimiya will buff Ayato, once you're done with Ayato use his elemental burst to buff Yoimiya and vice versa. So I like that team as well. But yeah, there are definitely other characters in the game that you might want to try pairing up with Ayato. Chongyun is one of them. I believe he gives attack speed. You also have Jean. If you have Constellation 2 Jean, she also gives attack speed. And if you have C6 Yunjin, again, also gives you attack speed as well. On a final note, if you are still paying attention to the teams, this is not actually part of the teams. But if you have this weapon on Ayato, the Haran Gepakufutsu, this one, because I know gacha gamers don't read, you need to make sure you've used two other characters' elemental skill first and then you'll get yourself like a little marker over your head as you see there alternatively you'll see a glow swirling around Ayato's hand there and if you have that that means you have the max bonus damage from the Haran Futsu. if you don't have that or you don't see that sign that means Ayato's skill or the the weapon skill is not activated so watch over Ayaka's head here boom and there you go you can see that little crest splitting in two that means Ayato is ready to be unleashed and then you chun 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 maru here and there you have it but yeah those are some of the teams I enjoyed if you have any other team recommendations please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below I highly recommend checking out a bunch of other content creators as well because they are definitely more in tune when it comes to meta stuff I'm just here for the unga bunga and a little bit of fun let's move on so a hot topic which is going to be on everyone's minds what is the best weapon for ayato as well as what are the best artifact sets to be running on ayato we'll start with the weapons because that one's going to be easy the five star weapon haran Pakufutsu, is definitely the best in slot for ayato if you are going for the five star weapons then look no further than this having said that this weapon if you already have for example the primordial jade cutter or the Miss Splitter Reforge, both of these weapons are superb on Ayato, and I do think they both look very nice on Ayato as well. As long as you've got any of these three weapons, if you're going for the five-star weapons, they are all superb. It really does depend on your artifacts as well, what kind of crit rate, crit damage, some stats that you may or may not be missing, as well as what circlet you have. For example, if you have a crit rate circlet, then you're going to want a crit damage weapon. If you have a crit damage circlet, then you're going to want a crit rate weapon. 
Having said that, this weapon is specifically for Ayato and maybe even a Constellation 6 Kazaha, but outside of that, the Jade Cutter has way more versatility, so that's something you may want to keep in mind if you want to be very, very picky with your weapons and you want to be stingy and maybe you only want to pull for one five-star weapon, then I would still recommend Primordial Jade Cutter because if you don't want to play with Ayato at whatever point in the future, you can put this weapon on another five-star character and it will be superb. It is a very, very good stat weapon. It just provides stats. This provides a bonus to normal attack attack damage and this provides a ton of elemental damage which is good for Ayato's burst as well as his elemental skill the part which doesn't scale off normal attack damage which is his like little clone thing. Having said all of that there are other weapons you could consider. Aquila Favonia it's a physical damage bonus weapon I don't know why you want to do that on Ayato but if you want to because it does look nice on him then by all means, go for it. But again, I would not recommend this weapon over the other three weapons. We've also got the Freedom Sworn. Again, unless you're going for like some really strange Ayato Elemental Mastery support build, I would not recommend this weapon. But I mean, Ayato looks good with every single weapon out here, other than the Summit Shaper. Now, the Summit Shaper, please don't pull for this weapon. I'm not sure whose taste this would be in, but don't pull for this weapon. It, it's not bad for Ayato if we want to run him with a shield as well because he is stationary when he uses elemental skill so he can't actually move or dodge a lot without losing a crud ton of DPS. This is not one that I could recommend. And then we also have the Skyward Blade. Now this weapon, if you have a high refinement on it, because it does increase your attack speed after using your elemental burst, I think there's potential because Ayato is also very energy recharge hungry there is a world where I can see this weapon not being the worst and it would probably be the fourth best weapon to use at a glance. I would say again these three weapons are the ones you want to go for but this weapon as a five star would probably be the fourth best option that you have. Having said all of that we also have the Black Sword. For you guys who are not F2P anymore and are battle passing if you have this at high refinement this is a really good weapon. 4 star, by far the best 4 star weapon for Ayato. The other ones, if you are F2P, this one, Iron Sting, is not great. It's better than Prototype Rancor. Now, I don't have it on this account here, but you should go for the Amenoma Kageuchi, the Inazuma prototype weapon, the free to play one. And I, I do recommend going for that one instead if you have the festering desire. Also, because Ayato's elemental skill doesn't actually, or the main chunk doesn't scale off elemental skill damage, this is also not really worth putting on Ayato. Lion's Roar is okay. Again, not recommended because as you can see, the passive here is Pyro or Electro. Not too useful. Sacrificial Sword. Also not really that great because you're going to use Ayata's elemental skill and it's not one that you can tap instantly. Again, you have to wait through his entire rotation, which again, it can save you a little bit of cooldown, but it's more recommended to just switch out for another character. Favonia's sword is actually not a bad shout and the flute, if you are desperate, then yes, the flute is okay. The Favonia sword though, I don't think is bad at all because the energy recharge is going to come in nice and you do want to build crit towards Ayato as well. So these elemental particles will come in nice. Now, if you are absolutely, absolutely desperate and you are confident that you are not going to lose HP with Ayato, maybe you're playing him with a shield character, which is very reliable like Zhongli or Diona, as long as your HP is about above 90%, this is a good weapon. Harbinger of Dawn, is a good weapon and the color scheme doesn't look too bad on Ayato so those are the potential weapons that you can be running on Ayato I will not recommend people go to the shop to buy the black sword or the royal sword the black sword is only there as a stat stick I don't think it's worth using your currency to buy a weapon rather than saving up for a four star constellation that might be more useful in the future right artifacts Okay, so Ayato is nice in the sense that he has many different artifact sets that you can be running on him. One of them is going to be Echoes of an Offering, which is the latest set to release alongside Ayato, along with the Chasm. If you want to know how to unlock that domain to farm this set, please go ahead and check out my one of my latest videos, which is going to literally show you. It's like a two minute video on how to do the puzzle. I know a lot of people struggle with that because gacha gamers don't read. The other thing is, of course, we have pre-existing sets that a lot of people have already pre 
farm. One of them is going to be the Heart of Depth, which you can find in Dragon Spine. The other one is going to be, as I like to call it, Gladiatore, which you can get from the Strong Box, as well as Weekly Bosses and the Spiral Abyss. I know a lot of players will already have Gladiators, especially if they have been playing since day one. Other sets that you could use, which I don't recommend, are Retracing Belay, the Shield set. And then on top of that, you have the Shimanao's Reminiscence. So... I have personally gone with Gladiators. I have tried out all the sets so far, and most of my sets do have very similar stats overall. I do have a setup with Gladiators where I have less attack and more crit rate, crit damage. And I'll show you guys side-by-side -side comparisons of how the different damage scalings work. And the main point that I want to point out here for you guys is ultimately Heart of Depth set and Gladiators, both of these sets are going to be used for consistent damage. So you won't get the absolute highest hit with Ayato possible. To do that, you definitely want to have the Echoes of the Offering. How this set works is you have roughly a 50% chance to do a special attack. And when you do this special attack, it will give you 70% of your attack stat on Ayato as bonus damage. So if you have 2,000 attack, you get 1,400 bonus damage. If you get 3,000 attack, you get 2,100 bonus damage. And then whatever that goes into the formula of damage, it might scale up even higher than that. And that's how you get a big strike on Ayato. The downside of this set is that your consistency is it's like every one in two hits so you'll hit one time really big and then the other time you'll hit like peanuts and then you'll hit big again and then peanuts and so on and so forth so in that regard if you like seeing consistently good numbers then heart of death and gladiators is the way to go if you like a bit of rng to spice up your life and you want to see the big unga bunga number the damage per screenshot then echoes of an offering is the set to go for ultimately 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 and i can't stress this enough between the three sets the one that is going to give you most dps damage per second not damage per screenshot is the one that gives you the best substats now the stats in order of priority that you want to look for ayato substats are the small numbers underneath the big number here you want crit rate crit damage both at joint first then you have attack percent then you want to look for energy recharge because Ayato is energy hungry. And then you want to look at HP percent. Ayato gets a tiny little bit of HP scaling. And then you also want elemental mastery if you are going to be playing with any sort of reactions. But the main stats, again, crit rate, crit damage, attack percent, energy recharge. These are the stats that you want to be looking at. So for example, on a flower, this flower here is really nice because it has good crit rate. It has great crit damage and it has decent attack percent there and a little bit of flat attack as well but these kind of stats are the ones that you want to focus on for Ayato and you want to make sure your stats are well rounded here so I would recommend if you're not a whale as long as you're getting 60% crit rate with around 140% crit damage that's not bad you want to go for ideally my energy recharge here is quite low but because again I am a whale I'm able to compensate with other characters if you want energy recharge and you're not running Raiden, you do want to go for around 130% energy recharge is what I would recommend. A little bit higher than that might even be better, if, especially if Ayato is your only Hydro character. That is something you want to consider. But crit rate, if you are an uh, end game player or someone that's been playing for a long time, ideally, if you are a whale, you should really be looking for at least 70% crit rate, 200% crit damage and you either go for more crit damage and less attack or you go for a big green number here which i have here so it really depends on what artifacts are available for you but please don't stress too much about the artifact set most importantly between these sets again is going to be your sub stats now if you don't have any of these sets my recommendation is to just go two piece 18 percent two piece 18 percent so you can go for two piece gladiators two-piece shimanawas or two-piece shimanawas two-piece echoes of an offering etc etc if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below we have a wonderful audience here and community that are more than happy to help as well and i will try my best to answer any of the main faqs that may come through some closing thoughts about Ayato to round off the video. Out of 10, if I had to score them out of 10, I would give Kamisato Ayato a solid 7.5 out of 10, if not an 8 out of 10. And that's at Constellation Zero. Again, talent level 6 
1-2-3-4-5-6-7-8-9-9. Constellation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We will talk about that in another video. Don't you worry. The media server, they were kind enough to allow me to play around with all the constellations as well, which I haven't activated yet, and I'm very, very excited to do so. I will talk about a constellated Ayato in the future, but at Constellation Zero, I do think he is a solid, solid character. By no means a game-breaking character or game-defining character, someone like a Zongli, a Raiden, a Venti, a Kazaha, etc., etc., but Ayato, I do think, is very, very fun very flexible, fits in a lot of teams, and very much designed to be played by any players of any skill level because he's very straightforward. Again, you press the elemental skill and you just hold down your mouse button or your phone button or your controller button, whatever you're playing on, and it's very, very straightforward. And yeah, I can't wait to see what the future holds for Ayato. We have seen in the past when characters release, a lot of people are like kind of undersell them. Raiden is one of them, Kokomi is one of them, Kaza is one of them. A lot of people are like, oh, these characters aren't that great. And now every Everybody wants them. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people do want them. So do keep that in mind. In the future, we might have more characters that increase normal attack speed or normal attack damage. In the example, Yunjin is someone for Ayato. Yunjin's constellations work in favor for Ayato. Jin's constellations work in favor for Ayato. Ayato's own constellations work in favor of attack speed. So maybe we'll get a giga attack speed boosting weapon or a character in the future, which is going to be a big Ayato buff or big Ayato teammate. So we don't know what the future holds. Do keep that in mind. And yeah, I think he is a very enjoyable character. He is absolutely gorgeous. I just want to repeat, he's gorgeous and I am simping for Ayato. So thank you once again to the media server for inviting me, allowing me to test out Ayato early. Again, I'm not beta testing him. It's just me testing Ayato for my own videos. This is the completed version of Ayato. So yeah, thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.